Okay, in this how-to video is going to describe how to use the pin pair rules functionality inside Allegro PCB Designer. You would need at least an Allegro PCB Designer license or above, so a high speed or miniaturization, to be able to use the pin pairs functionality. So there's two ways you can create pin pairs. One of them we've already covered in a video about net scheduling. You can go to Logic, Net Schedule, and, and manually take where you want to split the net up into. So, I mean, if I was to look at one of these nets, for example, uh, let's just pick a net. You can kind of see I've got I've got kind of a driver location from the IC going to the different memory chips, um, and I might want to control the length of the different nets or have the length of the different nets um, matched in a length point of view, or I might want to route it in a specific way to, to meet the the constraints that I have if I'm doing a DDR2 or DDR3 memory, for example. Um, so you can use the logic of uh, net schedule. It's worthwhile looking at the other video if you're interested in that kind of methodology. Um, the other way is just to use the the, the pin pair functionality. So we can go to Constraint Manager. And once we're in Constraint Manager, we'll go to the the net prop the, the net properties. We'll go to the relative propagation delay. I've got the memory bus here, for example. And if I just pick one of these nets, this is just the individual net on its own. But I can do a right mouse button, create a pin pair. Here you can see I've obviously got my my driver pin. These are all the different receivers. So if I wanted to say I wanted to go from the driver to the first memory chip, we'll hit apply. Now I get a warning to say that if I don't specifically add a constraint rule to this pin pair, it will constraint manager will not keep it, it will not reserve this information. So I can work along saying right, I want to go from the driver, and I could go from the driver to all the individual pins. Let's just click OK not to show that message again. And every time I apply, you can see that the pin pair being specifically added is being referenced by PPR to show me that it's a pin pair. Once I've done what I need to do, and I'm only going to add a few here with this example, I can obviously shift select all of the, the pin pairs and then right mouse button create a, a match group, for example, give it another name. And then that would generate a match group at the top that I could then go and add a specific driver receiver rule to um, from a match length, for example. 